Instagram Reels new updated video editor is making it a little bit harder to add audio to your Reels. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add original music, original audio, custom audio, sound effects, and voiceover to your Instagram Reels. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. Do you wanna get started with Instagram Reels but feel overwhelmed when it comes to gear and coming up with real ideas? Well, I've got a special treat for you. I created a free Reels blueprint so you can create your next 10 Reels within five minutes. Follow the link below to download your free blueprint now. We're gonna start and we're gonna go into Instagram Reels and we are going to start a new Reel and we're just going to pick a song. We can either pick a song here that it's recommending for us, a saved song, so something that we saved that we want to use for later, or we can import. So you can see here I have Ghostbusters lined up. When you're importing a file, it's important that you start where you want that clip to start. So let's say I want to start, there we go. And then, so I have that audio is there and it's only going to allow you to record the length of that video. So it's showed me that I only have 25 seconds. That's because that's the remainder of that video. And then I can record on top of that. So I can record whatever clips I want. I can talk, hello, it's Ida. Or I can just swipe up and add other clips or other videos. So you can hear that, well, you can't really hear it. You can just hear that Ghostbusters theme song and then I have some of my photos. And so now I can control, I have controls over this by when I see that menu up top, I just click on that music button and then I can click controls. What this allows me to do is I can bring up the audio from my camera so you can hear what I said when I recorded it and then I can take down that original audio. So my options with original audio. I can't use both original audio and music. I can either use original audio and by original audio I mean audio that you've imported or music. So say I want to remove this track. I want to get rid of that. Now I can add some music. So then I have me talking and I can adjust the controls of that. So you can see I have me talking and then that music. This is really good to use when you record yourself teaching something or talking about something and then adding that music allows you to rank for that song. If it's a song that is currently trending, you're more likely to show up on more accounts. I strongly suggest if you're creating original content to just add some kind of music and just reduce the volume. And I say keep it down low. So like five, I think five to seven is a really good audio volume, but anything higher it's just gonna be hard to hear your original audio and that audio. So I strongly suggest looking for music that doesn't have singing if you are talking, because if they're singing and talking, you're just going to confuse your viewer and they're not gonna know what to listen to. So it's keeping it down low and using instrumental music is great. So other things we can add here, so you can see once we get into those audio controls, other things we can add here, we have sound effects. Personally for me, sound effects doesn't work. It just shows up blank, but it used to work. So it would just allow me to choose different sound effects. Unfortunately, it currently doesn't work for me. And the thing with when things don't work for you, it doesn't mean that they will never work for you. It's just currently not working and that might work for me in a couple weeks. It's really strange with Instagram because some features come and go and you don't really have much control of it. And then lastly, we have voiceover right here. So if I click on voiceover, I can indicate where it's going to start. So say I want to start a voiceover right here. So hello, I am talking about what I am doing right here because I'm putting all these clips together and I'm talking about my day with it. So there, you can see that I recorded voiceover over the entire thing. If I press this back button, it's going to allow me to delete that voiceover, but only that last clip I recorded. So if you record multiple clips and then you want to go over it without deleting all of them, then you just move the indicator to where you want to re-record again, press the record button and you can record it again. So let's go done. So we have me talking here and then we have the voiceover while the clips are showing. 
I can go into my controls, my music controls, so I can control my music, how loud my voiceover is, how loud my camera output is, and then once I'm happy with all that, I'm ready to move forward. So if you're in the edit module and you're not seeing all the audio outputs, all the options, is because all it does in here is it allows you to edit the audio for the music or the original audio. It's not going to allow you to edit the overall control of the volume. To get to that, you either press this arrow facing down or you press on the video itself and then you have to go to that music icon and then you get to your controls that way. Do you wanna get started with Instagram Reels but feel overwhelmed when it comes to gear and coming up with real ideas? Well, I've got a special treat for you. I created a free Reels blueprint so you can create your next 10 Reels within five minutes. Follow the link below to download your free blueprint now. And remember, messy action is always better than no action. Till next time, peace.